I took the plunge and joined in with one of the biggest fitness and soul trends, and I bet you've heard of someone shouting to the rooftops about it already. What is it? Well, let's get started. Hello, so cold water swimming and open water swimming, it's hot off the press right now, it's all the rage, and I have definitely heard a lot of the hype surrounding it. I thought it wasn't something I could really give it a go, you know, given where I'm based right now, I'm in London in the city, um, but you know, where there's a trend, there's a way, so you don't have to live by the sea or in the mountains to enjoy this. So yesterday I dipped my toe in this trend, yeah, the the puns are going to keep coming, I think, but I went to the West Reservoir Centre in North London, and before I jump in, please do subscribe, because every subscriber helps. So as I'm in full-time training for my next expedition to the jungle, I decided to make it a big moving opportunity, a training opportunity, so I'd run there, do the swimming and run back. So they say cold water swimming is great and for lots of different reasons, including uh, boosting your immune system, increasing your circulation, believe it or not, uh, boosting your libido, yeah, and socialising and fitness, of course, reducing stress as well. What's not to love, except the initial jumping in and pain. <laughs> it also gives you that natural high and has been proven to be great for mental health. So this place is tucked away from the road, it's just next to the castle climbing centre, if you know that. Um, it's run by Better um, and you have to book at the moment, pay £10, or you have to book for obvious reasons right now. Uh, the only requirement is a red hat, this is so you can be seen. Uh, you also get given, so don't worry about buying one, a flotation device, a boy. The course is, you know, the course is surprisingly big, it's like a 400 metre course um, if, you, if you go all the way, so they need to be able to spot you easily if you run into any trouble at all. Getting in didn't feel too chilly, and it's for sure it's warmer than the sea right now, um, but if it is your first time testing out the waters, um, then just don't panic, you know, take it slow, just make sure you're controlling your breathing. Oh, okay. It's meant to be invigorating and empowering. Yeah, it's good for you. say it did feel empowering you know my mind was clear there was clarity and it's exactly what I needed after a sort of hard hard week the setting of this place is kind of surreal because on the one side you've got like more hens nesting in the reeds and on the other side there are tower block flats that are like re remind you that you're in the city um, definitely in the city but that's pretty great to have a little bit of both worlds And I kind of felt humbled by the experience. There was like this sense of community, um, enjoyment for life, living in the now. And it was, it was very contagious. You know, I felt, feel, I left feeling energized and liberated. Definitely won't be the last time I go there. So if you're looking for something to give you that same like positive vibe, how about giving open, wa open water or cold and cold water swimming? It might just be the therapy that you didn't know you needed. So I'm Lucy, this is my channel. Thank you very, very much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.